Okay guys, so I'm here review UFC 153. Now the main event went like a guy would go. Main Anderson Silva train with Kevin Bonner. To me, I got Anderson Silva. He decided to go up against the cage because he didn't want to grapple. He got this is the only way I'm going to get Stephen Banner to go some punches, some kicks, and once he throws them and makes them, he's going to get the more and then I can finish him off. That's in my opinion. Stephen Bonner got super the more after that spinning back kick in my opinion. Because I think he was thinking damn I can't even hit this guy when he's right in front of me. He just started weighing cocks. He was connecting on some on some of them and making, but Anderson Silva was doing a Muhammad Ali caper swing, which is cool, but I think Anderson Silva, like I said earlier, knew that if he went to the center of the cage, Stephen Bonner was just going to push him back and grab him. So he said, why not stay back up against the cage? Because I know that's the only way I'm going to get Stephen Bonner to scrap with me. And looking to got Stephen Bonner with a knee to the shoulder pick, which basically finished Stephen Bonner right away. If he dropped in like two seconds and the fight was over basically after that. Um, nice win for Anderson. After the fight, he said he never fighting at like 205. I don't believe that. Because at this point in his career, Anderson Silver is ready, in my opinion, to vacate that middleweight tail and just go after super fake. He's bound to face John Jones in the next two years if John Jones keeps winning at the rate that he is. I can get nothing killed, but will be kicked at Caleb. Mainly because he wiped out a whole division. The only guy he got a face right now, I think, are two guys. Michael Bigman, which will be an easy fight for him. Because Michael Bigman, while he's good at everything, he got great in one specific area, so that's going to be a problem. Now, against Chris Wyman, I think Anderson might have a bit of a problem. He's going to still win, but... Huh? Chris Wyman is... Good in all areas, he's great in the wrestling, and we all know Anderson Silva has trouble with people who attack him. Even though I can kill beat Chris Ryman, that'll be a good fight for him. After that, he could just vacate the table and face George. And whoever comes down the turn pick. Now to the next fight. 
Big Nog vs. Gabe Herman. I'm kind of scratching my head with this one. Because Gabe Herman basically helped Big Nog get the arm bar twice. If I was Gabe Herman, I would have kept getting on the feet. Because that's my only chance of winning. Instead, you help him get the arm bar twice. That's kind of mind boggling to me. But nice win for Big Nog. A good matchup for him would be against Stephen Screw next, in my opinion. They're both coming off Halloween. Stephen Screw wants to step up in competition. Big guy. And on his way back, so why not make it happen? Good girl, Fa- Fabio Morganato versus Grover Kinkiller. Big Pop Morganato for with, with standing at punishment that he could grow that, but it wasn't a mismatch. His king is made of iron because I would have gone to sleep after like five punches. But he's getting there for two rounds and made a fair of it. Ultimately, Gabriel Kekera was way. He was superior on the ground. He was just. Man handling him on the ground to the point where he was got anything he wanted, basically. Nice one for Glover. Um, I think, why don't we schedule his original fight with Rampage and see what happens? What, what? What was originally supposed to happen? Next fight. Gone Fix vs. Eric Silva. Now, this is a classic case of a fighter getting too big in his own head to where he thinks his skills are superior than his opponent's skills. Eric Silva thought that he could only train for his skills and not train for wrestling against John Fix. Well, he got a wake-up call. I know that in the second round, he got a deep token, but we all know John Fick is not easy to cap. He just has them boy that. John Fick controlled the first thing to go around by kicking him to the ground, some ground and pound, and holding him up against the cage. That was the first round. The third round basically. Eric Kilber got out and John Fick was basically in, on top of him for the whole round ringing punches. I hope this should get a wake up call to Eric Kilber that he needs to look at his opponent's deficiency and Take advantage of that instead of thinking that his skills are superior than his opponents. I would like to see John Fix vs. Jake Amberger next. You gotta remember, John Fix won nine previous fights before he draw 
again, be gay, and he lost again, 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 and he was injured, he was injured, and he only took for money. I could understand that, and I kind of believe it, because nobody, I know Gunny Hendrick has power in his hand, but throughout that sort of amount of time I got back went on, I'm thinking even a temper came down. So I believe it like he will happen again Jake Allenberger. Peace.